So this is another episode of the Esper build. Because I'm using a new camera like this fisheye GoPro kind of thing, this sound wasn't really that good. So I'm gonna record this sound afterwards while I'm editing this video. So you can understand what's going on. So as you can see the engine is still on the hoist and the next thing I'm going to do is to fit the new cylinder head on there. As you can see the gasket is already in place and now I'm trying to get a nice position of the gasket and fiddling the cam chain to the back so I have enough room to get the cylinder head on there, make sure everything sits nice and tight. Yeah, this looks good. As you can see, we have the um, thermostat already off there. So the next thing I'm going to do now is this little bolt right there, which is, I seen if you have seen the earlier videos, is um, for retaining the chain, the, the cam chain, in case it's it's going to fall down, this bolt catches it and prevents it from pissing off down into the engine. So since I'm uh, reusing the gasket, oh, I'm gonna apply some silicone sealant, there you have it, 3 bond, um, onto the sealing surface of this bolt to prevent any oil from leaking. This free bond stuff is the um, recommended liquid seal gasket from Suzuki. They use it for um, yeah sealing the lower engine halves and all of the other stuff. I really like it because it's black so you can apply it on your parts and it doesn't look like a total hack job because like the Durko is red and the Hylomar is blue and yeah this stuff while it's black looks nice so I apply some on on the gasket and I think the bolt itself like on, on the other side of the bolt head So now I grab the chain and pull it up so the bolt can go under. It's quite hard to do because the chain is oily and the fingers are oily and everything's oily and slippery. So you have to try to get a new, a good hold onto the chain and then slide the bolt in. Tighten it down and afterwards you can just let go of the, of the calm chain and it's, yeah, it's going to be retained by that bolt. There we go. In this video you can see the manual um, cam chain tensioner we've installed. This is going to be uh, of importance later on. So we skipped the automatic one and changed it to a manual one because then um, we can be sure that under stress the engine um, yeah, the cam chain can't be um, like pulled over the cams.
still next to a ball. These two bolts, just standard M6, whatever bolts. I tried to put all the bolts um, that were in this engine originally to one spot, and so I can I can reuse the same bolts. Of course, I have the correct length of bolt and head style and everything I need without going to search for bolts in the workshop. So these two are in now. And as you saw earlier by when I was taking off the old head, um, there's one bolt like yeah this one from underneath the front of the of the cylinder head. And this is quite important this bolt because this this um, where this bolt clamps the cylinder head onto the cylinder is like a typical weak spot of this engine because the distance to the next real head bolt which go in from the top is quite large so the clamping force on this spot is quite low so under stress if you're racing this engine or rev it really high and put it under a lot of lot of stress um, oil tends to leak out of this spot. We had it with, um, with um, at least two engines that were leaking on this spot. And the problem is, since this is like an M6 bolt, you can't torque it really high because of course it frets into the alu aluminium of the cylinder head. So you have to be really precise to torque it. Torque it strong, but not too strong in order not to strip, like, strip the thread out. So next we have our, um, I think it's 10, 10 bolt heads, yes, 10 in total. These go just in there. I'll make sure to not forget the um, original washers that are um, on there, under the under these head bolts. And make sure that these washers are lubricated a bit with engine oil. So. These washers are in there to prevent the, you from damaging the cylinder head casting while torquing up those bolts. And if you uh, lubricate them, yeah, it's just it's just going to prevent additional wear on the casting itself. It also says so in the manual. So either you can lube up the um, washers themselves. Or you can just put some loop onto the mating surfaces of these washers with the cylinder head before you talk to talk them down. So like I said, there are ten in total. So now I'm just gonna take the small ratchet and or do it by hand and um, yeah, talk them in, uh, screw them in there so um, they all touch the cylinder head before I get the proper torque wrench out and tighten them down. As you can see, I'm trying to uh, get the real, uh, the correct order of talking them down. We start with the with the first one in the middle. It's close to you right now, from the uh, point of view. And then the one uh, behind that, and then you have like a crisscross pattern of um, tightening these bolts down. I highly recommend you getting the proper workshop manual when you are um, doing this kind of work because like the order of talking talking those bolts down is quite important 
to prevent the head from warping and having a good good um, good sealing effect with the head gasket and um, things like that are described quite well in this uh, workshop manual So now I'm going to get a bigger ratchet, like this uh, 3 8 whatever one. So the thing is, you want to talk or you need to or sh sh should be talking these bolts in two steps. The first is to go to around 20 newton meters of torque, and after you're done all the bolts at 20 newton meters you go and put them at uh, I think it's 54 yeah it's 54 newton meters so first you torque all the bolts down to 20 newton meters and then you redo it with 40, uh, 54 newton meters of torque since I don't have a torque wrench that goes to 20 newton meters because it's not that much I'm just guessing the torque with this wrench so now comes the torque wrench it's set to like I said 54 Newton meters and we start with the first bolt just be aware that this is a lot of torque for this size of bolt and it feels like you're always close to stripping off the fret you can see the engine moving on the hoist since it's yeah, it's quite a lot of torque, a lot of torque. And I'm trying to put my foot down there and uh, secure the engine from uh, moving all over the place. And I think I'm doing this in two steps as well. So now I'm going to like half of the torque and then I do a second row, a second run with uh, the full torque. So this is the final run with the torque wrench now. You can see how tight these go down there. It's like, yeah, you need a lot of force.
always remember, yeah, you can do this whole work while um, the engine is still in the bike. The frame of the GSX-R SRAT is so huge, you have so much space to work on the engine. You, you, can, you can take the head off, you can change your pistons, you can change your cylinder, you can do all that work while the engine is still in the frame. Of course you have less space to operate like this torque wrench or whatever. But um, you won't have the problem of the problem of the engine uh, wiggling around like it's doing right now, because yeah, in the frame it's it's uh, it sits much more secure. So all the head bolts are done now. So now I'm going um, to turn the engine like a couple of times to see if um, everything runs smoothly like it should do. I always like like I do now, uh, um, lift up the, the cam chain because otherwise it can get stuck down in the gears. And then you have to turn the engine back a bit, wiggle it out, and then you can turn it the correct way to see if anything collides inside the combustion chamber. Which shouldn't be the problem now, but it's going to be later when the cams go in camshafts go in here. Yeah. This is the last view of the top of the engine. Now I'm going to apply some uh, engine oil. This is just standard whatever. 10W40, whatever you have in hand. And put some oil onto these tappets. Because the next thing we're going to do is um, yeah measure the the valve clearance and get the camshafts in so a bit of oil under there is quite good thank you <laughs> 